What's up guys, I'm back in college and today I'm gonna show you how to make the best seedling tacos of your freaking life. All you need is these ingredients. I'll go over it right now. Also, I'm gonna make a salsa to go on the side and it's gonna be pretty spicy, so be ready. While I'm cleaning my counter, I wanted to give you a heads up. I really messed up the salsa. I forgot to add cilantro and garlic. Ah, please don't hate me. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I preheat to high usually just to get it started. Here are my ingredients. Avocados, tomatoes, limes, jalapenos, serranos, and one habanero. Of course, we're starting with the salsa first. Uh, because when you have your tacos, you don't want to be waiting for your salsa to be ready. Uh, and you can always heat it up in the microwave. First step, super important, you gotta char your vegetables, whether it's the peppers or the tomatoes or whatever. You have to do it. Of course, while we wait for those to get nice and toasty, we're gonna go ahead and start prepping our meat. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do to prep the meat, a lot of people don't do this, you don't have to. I like to take a lot of excess fat off, A, because it's a little healthier, and personally, I think it does, makes it better sometimes. Because sometimes they could make it a little chewy, whatever, stuff like that. And like, for example, this silver lining right here, that's not good. You just take a little more time to prep your meat, <laughs> it'll be a lot better. Ain't that right? Now, if you're trying to save food, this might not be the best option. Eat it all. But... I'm trying to enjoy this very much. So, because of that, I will be cleaning it up. Sometimes you can just pull it off like that. Now, of course, you can take your time and get all of it off. Or you can be lazy like me, and not. So you see here, they're starting to char a little bit. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit actually. I have a really bad habit of doing everything with my hands. But, I've been doing it for years. All right, we're gonna start off with some salt. There's plenty of fat on this, so I'm not gonna put too much olive oil. I'll put some in the pan, but none on this. Some pepper. Make sure to slap your meat. It looks like I'm putting a lot, if not. Alright, so put your meat to the side. I'm gonna wash this. So you have your avocado. I like to slice it. I'm gonna dice this avocado into little squares. About a centimeter thick, half an inch thick. Alright. Now we have diced avocado. Wash your hands. Now that your vegetables are pretty charred, I'm gonna go ahead and, oops. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in the blender. Seeds and all. And guess what? You're gonna blend it.
All right, now we're gonna start cooking the meat. Since this meat is pretty big, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut it in half and cook, and cook it separately. Look at that. That's why I like Siloin a lot more than uh, fajita, because it's, it's good. Don't get me wrong, I love fajita. Man! All right, so we're gonna go ahead Put a little bit of olive oil. Get it nice in there. We're gonna lay our meat. There we go. Get where you're gonna put your tortillas on another thingy. I turned my Keep down to like a six, because it is a lot hotter. Now ideally you want to do this on like a grill, like a, a la parrilla, but I don't have one here with me, so I'm, I'm doing with what I got, I'm dealing with what I got. Now, I like my meat like medium rare. Almost raw, but uh, I'm gonna cook it a little more. Probably like medium. Let's see how it goes. I forgot to add min minced garlic to my salsa. Whatever, whatever. You know, presentation is key on a plate like this. So right now, all I'm doing is I'm preparing it. We have the fajita, lime, avocado, and uh, the salsa. And I'm gonna make my tortillas and finish cooking my meat. All right, now we're gonna slice it. It's really important to slice against the grain. It's perfect, that's just how I wanted it. Now we're just gonna And of course, the number one rule for making tacos or quesadillas or whatever, you have to flip it with your hand. It's the only way that the tortillas will be perfect. Now, let's make ourselves a little taquito. So first, you want to put some meat on it. Second, <clears throat> you're going to put one slice, maybe two if you're crazy. Of avocado, and then you're gonna put some of the salsita you made. Look at that. It also has avocado, but I think avocado is it's, it's very spicy, so don't put too much. And then, last but not least, some queso cotija. As I'm fighting demons to uh, get this cheese through the bag, I wanted to tell you guys thank you for all the support on all the social medias. You guys really mean a lot to me. I, uh, it, you, like, you have no idea how much you're changing my life. And of course, your little bit of queso. <clears throat> Voila. Salud, perros. Perras. Cheers, guys. And of course, here we have the finished product. We got the fajita, este aguacate, salsa. With so what happened here? I burned the tortilla, and instead of throwing it away, I repurposed it as decorations. You got limon and uh, your tortillas. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, let me know if you try it in the comments or if you're going to. Thank you so much. We're about to hit a million on TikTok. And in celebration, I'm gonna be on live with this cake. Actually, by the time this is out, it'll probably already happen, so.
Thank you guys for the crazy support. We're almost at 5K on YouTube. Love you guys. Thank you. Oh, no!